Hi guys, it's me Alden here in Singapore and give you a tip here in Universal Studio Singapore. Number one tip, how to get to Universal Studio Singapore. Universal Studio Singapore is located in Sentosa Island and is a part of the first world Sentosa. So you will need to reach the island first before entering USS. From Singapore city center, there are different ways to reach Sentosa Island. Number one, by train. From MRT Harborfront Station, you can take the Sentosa Express Monorail into Sentosa Island that will cost you $4. You can alight at the Source World Station. Number two, by taxi. This is not so economical, yet the easiest way. Just hop on the taxi and tell the driver your destination is Source World Sentosa, Singapore. Number three, by bus. In Harborfront Station, just take the exit C going to the bus going to the Source World. This is the cheapest way to go to Sentosa Island. It will just cost you one dollar. When is the best time to visit Universal Studio Singapore? If your work schedule is flexible, you can get rid of the crowd by visiting Universal Studio Singapore during weekdays and avoiding school holidays during March, June, September, and December. There are two ways to get a ticket to Universal Studio Singapore. Number one, at ticket counter. You can just buy the entrance ticket directly at the ticket counter. There are chances that you will have to wait in a long lines of people queuing up at the counter. Number two, through online platforms. This the second option is to purchase an online ticket through trusted platforms. With an e-ticket and a QR code ready on your phone, you're invited to skip the line and head straight to the checkpoint of Universal Studio Singapore. Tip number four, start your day early. Be outside the USS gates before the opening time so you can get a head start. The gates open as early as 10 a.m. and closes around 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. depending on the day. Number 5. Express Pass Get yourself the Express Pass if you're willing to pay. If you're not the kind of person who can stand long queues, then do yourself a favor and get yourself the Universal Express Pass. First tip, you can bring your raincoat or umbrella just in case it rains. Just in case it rains or shine, this will also come in handy if you're planning to go to Universal Studio Singapore. Poncho is very helpful when you ride Jurassic Park Rapids Adventure, which is a super fun river raft ride I highly recommend. So you can also bring your water bottle. There are water fountains around the park for you to refill and stay hydrated. Number 7 tips, you can grab a map or a timetable of the show before entering Universal Studio Singapore. You can grab a park map and a timetable of the shows and performance upon entering. You can grab a park map and a sheet listing down the time for each shows, performance, and meet and greets for the particular day. There are 17 zones in Universal Studio Singapore. I downloaded an iOS app and studied the map before visiting to have a bigger picture for each of them. Also, I had some enjoy routes planning on which way to go first or which theme to start with. Number 9. Two Hidden Rides 
There are two attractions at Universal Studio Singapore that many often overlook. Within the Fairy God's Mother Potion Shop, in a far, far away zone, there is a tiny Ferris wheel ride suitable for really young kids. At the Lost World, there is a rock climbing attraction towards the rear of the land. Amber Rock Climb has three levels, easy, medium, and difficult. Number 10 Tips Free Lockers Loose items are not allowed on the Battlestar Galactica roller coasters and Revenge of the Mummy. Lockers are available next to these rides to stow away your bags and other loose items before embarking on the rides. These lockers are free for use for a limited time. Bonus Tips Detail Spotting at New York While passing through the New York zone, be sure to peer through the shop front windows. There are lots of interesting details to take note and displays add to the flavor of the theme zone. So there you go. These are the top tips for having a great time here in Universal Studios Singapore. I hope you have a wonderful day, hopefully by relying on my tips. Bye! See you on the next video!